now and the Kenya Defense Forces under the banner of Allied Forces Amisim are sweeping through the streets of Kismayu for any unexploded devices that may have been planted by the Al-Shabaab militia. Although members of the ragtag militia fled the town, it is believed that they did so after leaving booby traps. Combat engineers have been tasked with searching for these improvised explosives in a process that is slow and delicate. The battle for Kismayu has taken a new turn and now combat engineers are on the front line in the most unusual way. Combing through abandoned buildings and streets to look for unexploded ordinances and improvised explosive devices left by the Al-Shabaab. The troops are using buildings that house the Al-Shabaab as guides to where the explosives may be hidden. The troops have received information that this police station in town was a hub for the Al-Shabaab and so the search begins. The engineers have to be careful as any wrong move could set off an explosion. The station is clear of explosives and the troops move to the next location. A bomb in front, it has got explosive but there's no fusing. Okay? The fusing went off but the explosive remained intact. So it's, it, it's kind of safe to carry. Because if we demolish it here, it might affect the structures around the wall and the foundation of the house. This building, according to the forces, used to belong to the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, UNHCR. Here, the forces find some unexploded ordinances hidden under a car wreck. Uh, one, one cartridge, one cartridge, one cartridge, one cartridge. The next step is to set off the devices. Every step is calculated to avoid a mishap. And when everything is in place, the bombs are detonated. Now the situation is certain, everything is okay. And the civilian, the local, they are very happy. Kismayu town is slowly settling down to normalcy with reports that some residents who had fled following the battle are slowly trickling back in. There is still concern from a few, however, that some Al-Shabaab members have infiltrated the community. Somalia has seen several changes in the last month, including the swearing-in of a new president. On Saturday, the country saw the appointment of a little-known businessman, Abdi Farah Saeed, as Prime Minister in efforts to stabilize the country. Edith Kimani for KTN.